What's up guys, my name is Luke from Archer and Woods, pre owned menswear and vintage watch store. Today I just wanted to make a video to show off the perfect summer suit that we've got in store. It's from British brand Tom Sweeney, it's double breasted, it's in a really beautiful unique colour and I think if you've got a summer wedding coming up or any sort of formal event, this could be the thing for you. So I've already got the trousers on, it's this double breasted taupe colour, it's actually a three piece suit we've got in store, so there's the waist go here. So normally I like to wear these pieces just to show off the general fit of it. This isn't tailored to me at all. I will only try the jacket on because the waistcoat is rather snug. But yeah, there's the waistcoat. And as I say, that's perfect if you're at a wedding or something like that. These trousers, are, as you can see, are pleated, relatively high-waisted. They're not super high-waisted. And yeah, they're also got a really nice slim leg to them as well. So they're not skinny in any way, but they've got a really nice take to them. But as you can see here, the jacket has a really good length to it. Take up the sleeve because my arms are always too short. So the thing that makes this summer suit, obviously we've got the lighter color, but also so the suit's made from wool, but it's in a fresco weave, which is just a loosely woven together weave. Similar to Hopsack, it just makes it more breathable for the summer months. What I love about it, is, yes, it's quite slim. It's maybe a little bit snug for me. I might, if it was mine, I'd let it out a little bit. I'll take the sleeves up, of course. Very soft shoulders, that's very typical of Tom Sweeney. They're a British label, but they do things in a little bit of a European, with a little bit of a European twist to them as well. So soft shoulders, beautiful peak lapels. And what I love is these jackets look as good clothes as they do open. If you look at the, where the lapel starts here, goes all the way up, a really beautiful curve. We've got flat pockets, we've got two on this side, one on this side. And it's, yeah, and you can see it's got a really slim silhouette to it as well. I love the color, it's just really, rich deep taupe living in london it's hard to wear brighter colors often and i think this has that perfect mix of a lighter color without being overly bright so you could wear this in most situations and get away with it i like to really tone them down with say something like this like a navy polo shirt i hope i could have cut in if not i apologize yeah i like to tone them down sometimes especially when i'm in england with lighter suits and stuff with a darker undershirt but that's not to say you can't wear this with something brighter underneath, like a white shirt at all. That's just my personal preference. It also makes it a bit more casual. You could also wear this untucked as well. It wouldn't be, that, that would look fine also. And yeah, I think this is an ideal summer suit that you can dress up and dress down in quite a bit. So you'll get a lot of wear out of it as well. We have this in store now for £750. A suit from Tom Sweeney, we'll have a look at their store in a second, so we'll jump over to the website in a bit, but a blazer will cost you around about £1,750. So it's a really good deal. It's an amazing piece. This is a one-off piece for us, so if you like it, if you're interested, get in touch, hello at archwomers.com, at archwomers on our socials. What we'll do now is we'll jump over to the desk, have a look at Tom Sweeney, the brand in general, and just have a little rummage around. So as you see here, landing page, They've got the new Spring Summer 23 collection, which we'll have a look at a sec. Firstly, I'll actually just go to the About section, or like their history, because there, here we are. So I went over to Tom Sweeney the other day. It was it's the Savile Row store, and it's this beautiful townhouse. So they've got three or four stories. It's a really nice experience there. It's really chill. The people there are great. They've got like a bar in there. It's like a very clubhousey kind of vibe, but very friendly and very open. Like the people working there are very open to working with you, helping you. Um, the I would say that the selection there when you're in store isn't a lot. Like you don't get like overwhelmed by the amount of stuff that's there, which can like I think is a good thing because you don't want to be. It's not a fast fashion brand. You don't want to be overcome with just so many choices, especially if you're spending a significant, especially if you're spending a significant amount of money. It's nice to not be like two, deciding between two different things, umming and ahhing, not sure if you bought the right one. It's got very select and deliberate pieces that they've designed and made. And, and also from say swimwear to like shorts and summer wear down to the sort of tuxedos as well. So it's a really good, Broad spectrum, but not a lot with each one. The color, pa the color palettes are all very simple and all wearable, which is really nice as well. Right, so Tom and Luke. The house was founded by Savile Row train tailors Tom Widdett and Luke Sweeney. So they met in 2003 at Timothy Everest, one of the most influential tailors of the day. When Tom was the head cutter and Luke managed the house's made-to-measure service, so obviously a big history within tailoring and Savile Row. So they started working together and created Tom Sweeney. 
but yeah, I've never met these two, but I've seen a lot of interviews in there. So they seem like pretty cool guys. So yeah, this is the townhouse that I mentioned. This is just off Savile Row, and which makes it just such a lovely area. Like you've got that, the strip of Savile Row, you've got a few things off of it. You've got just a good few little alleyways and stores just off of it, which makes it a really nice community. So, Open Story 2009, it's a, the site of a former gallery and they launched their Ready to Work collection on Mr. Porter in 2013, okay. So yeah, it's a four-story townhouse in the old Burlington Street. It, it, yeah, it's definitely worth a visit. It's got a barbershop upstairs, that's true, and a club room, interesting. Oh, this is like history of it. Oh, I don't know, I think, is that, the, that's their, oh, they've got a New York store as well. So they have a store in New York and Soho, which I've never been to. Yeah, let's jump back to the main page and check out the new collection. So there's one particular piece that I really love. So we've got a lot of these drawstring trousers, these linen ones. I had a client look at these the other day and they're really cool. If you're into drawstring trousers, it's not, I, don't, I think, don't think if I'm spending the money, I personally am going to go for drawstring. I'd rather just have button up so I've got that option of, say, I don't like tucking in with drawstring. It's not my thing. I, I don't like seeing the drawstring. So they're 495. So it's a significant amount if you're buying trousers. Nice cut there. These are elongated pointy collar, the Leche collar. These knitted t shirts are really nice, these raglan sleeve ones. Uh, really airy, loose, very soft to touch. And these linen, these trousers with the uh, with the pleats, they're the ones I would go for. So if I was, if I was to pick, if I had like choice of three things, they're definitely in the top three of the things I saw. This is nice, but obviously hard to wear, this sort of cream linen suit. Fresco trousers, so this has the same material as the suit here. So you can see here, so the trousers there are 395 on their own. So say so this is do you want to say 750 this suit? So yeah, it's a good deal. Yeah, I'm not I'll never get the tucking in with the drawstring, I'll never understand it. It reminds me, there was this photo of Ronald Reagan on Air Force One back in the day, obviously, and he was wearing some sweatpants with a shirt tucked in, and it just reminds me of that. Really cool photo. Derby boots, quite nice. I wish we would always have more photos, and I don't do this with enough of mine, with our store, of the clothes being worn, because I want to see what that looks like. Worn. Yeah, so you just get one photo. But yeah, it kind of goes to show of kind of what I was saying, like very simple products and just in very simple wearable colors. They've got a few suede jackets which are really nice. Two thousand nine hundred ninety-five pounds. Um, so again, we've got a, we've got a suede jacket of theirs in store currently, which is which is we've got for six hundred. So six hundred to three grand. But I'd never begrudge that being the price because that's the price. There's a lot that goes into making these items, especially with a really nice material like suede. We just want to be able to provide something that's an alternative that's relatively affordable. Yeah, more linen shirts. That's nice. Just a soft, simple linen shirt. But it's quite a lot. Like 1,695 for a linen shirt is a lot. I was in Xenia the other day and that's nearing their sort of prices, which is significant. This is really nice too. It reminds me of the cut of this like Sam Mel style, very Scandi. But I can't wear cream suits. So I'll just make a mess of myself. I'm a huge fan of the long sleeve polos, massive fan of them. 
than the pleated trousers, really. This, this is the cut of the t-shirt. I don't particularly like the lighter pastel pastel colours, but in the dark colours, it's really nice. I really like the, the fit of them. They fit really well. And yeah, the one thing I would say, and this is nice, this linen shirt, that's really nice. The one thing, yeah, the one thing I would say is there's nothing that like jumps out at me, like you must have this. It's all a lot of very nice stuff, but nothing gra grabs you. That which it's good or bad, depending on how you look at it, because you, you know, this isn't, this is about having pieces that last a long time, that go out of fashion. You can have them as long as you can possibly wear them. So I, would, I lean on the side of saying that's good, but there's still, you want something, statement pieces, you want something to grab you. There was a blazer on here, which I saw a little while ago. I saw it in the, in the shop, which I loved. We'll see if we can find it. So the clothing, and then we've got this blazer here, this guy's wearing. So I, really, I do actually really like this double-breasted suit. As you see, 1795. That's the sort of region these things would go for new. Quite a bit into to this look. Like, there's something very unbalanced about it, but I like it. Like the windigos up top and the chinos or the, ple the pleated trousers. Like, it shouldn't work, but it does. I do like it. Yeah, this blazer. But it's like it sits on its own. This pattern blazer, which is super cool. There's nothing else like it in the store. Just one pattern blazer. The yeah, the tuxes are lovely. You've got this blue velvet one. There's these off-white ones. So yeah, if I was going for a sort of dinner, if I was going for some black tie event, this would be one of the, definitely one of the stops I would go for. This was really nice. This is it burgundy? Yeah, burgundy wool, double-breasted blazer. It's just not the right time of year for it. I'm normally not a fan of burgundy, but this was actually a really good colour. And then let's see what their wedding stuff looks like. These are lovely. Yeah, I think the thing that sticks out to me, it's hard to put across on a website, is their formal wear, the black tie event and wear stuff. And there's a few little pieces. I would definitely go for the, pleat, the linen trousers and then the evening wear. What's the accessory saying? Yeah, again, the runs the same theme. All nice, well-made, well-rounded stuff, but nothing that jumps out of you. So many brands now are doing jeans, and I would like to see it. If they're made well, just slim, high-waisted jeans that you can wear with a shirt or a polo. Right, yeah. If I'm going, if I'm going for three things, I'm going for the linen, trousers we saw at the outset i'm going for this for the pete lapel pattern blazer and i'm going for I'm going for the white linen shirt because i really like that i like the way it's cut I like the size of the collar great for this time of year why not but yeah that's tom sweeney i think overall nothing jumps out of you but that's a good thing that's a good sign this is stuff that's made to last this is stuff that's made to not go out of fashion out of style good quality pieces good everyday pieces and that's really important but if you're interested in this suit yeah let me know hello archers.com please like and subscribe because it really helps me grow the store the channel and everything uh, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one personal styling sessions i do in anything from a one hour ad hoc sessions to a full styling service the whole shebang get in touch with me about that you can see more on our website and uh, the little tab says style consultant and yeah let me know if you have any questions hello at archandwoods.com at archandwoods on the socials and i look forward to hearing from you soon cheers